Yo, what up guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online money glitch, alright? This one is a two player glitch. Guess what Xbox guys, I didn't forget about you, alright? Some of you are whining, alright, that I'm not on Xbox. Guys, I'm on Xbox right now. I'm on my second character. Check it out. And I got a dupe glitch that works for you guys and for PS4. Mostly everything got patched today, so we have very few things to work on. But this one does work, so... You need a lot of stuff for this. All right, let me shout out the founders real quick. You got Bruntango and Boca Boy for this first part. And then you also have Macclesfields UK and Unfazed Gaming helped out with the actual dupe glitch, okay? So what you need, you need a friend. Go into an invite only session with your friend. Now you both need the same facility and your friend needs an Avenger, all right? You need the ability to sign in as a CEO. And when I mean you, I mean the duper, okay? So. You need the ability to sign in as a CEO, and you also need a special vehicle warehouse with a special vehicle like one of these that you see right here. Uh, the Wastelander is the cheapest one. For the tutorial, I'm going to be using the Blazer Aqua, so I'm literally going to buy a Blazer Aqua just to do this tutorial for you guys. Pretty awesome, ain't it? Now, <laughs> after buying this Blazer Aqua, what you also need is a Benny's car to duplicate. The LG Retro Custom sells for the best, and it must have a custom plate. You want to have that car inside of a 10 car garage or any sort of garage and make sure that it's full, all right? You want that garage to be full, that's very essential, all right? Apart from that, you also, to do the duplication glitch, you need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage and you also need a bunch of destroyed bikes or Fagios, uh, Sanchez's, anything like that. And we'll get into all of that. But this first part of the video is just to, how to get a retro or a Benny's vehicle inside your special vehicle warehouse. So I'm outside, we're both outside of our facilities, we have the same one. He, my friend, is going to go ahead and go into his facility and hop in or walk into the back of his Avenger, okay? He's going to just chill right there. What I'm doing right now outside of our facility is I'm actually going to go ahead and request that Blazer Aqua or whatever special vehicle you plan on duplicating over. Remember, you will be losing this because we're going to be getting a retro in its place in the special vehicle warehouse, okay? Once you get the retro in there, though, you don't have to do this first part again. That's it. You can just do the duplication glitch later whenever you want. This is a one-time thing, this thing here we're doing in the beginning. So, all right, here we go. There's a lot to cover, all right? So I'm trying to get this done quick. All right, so my friend is in his facility, in his Avenger. I now am in my facility, and I'm going to go ahead and just chill up here in this area around this balcony. It doesn't matter where you kind of stand. I think you can stand pretty much anywhere in the facility. I just like to go over here so I can see my friend spawn in when the glitch does work. So what we're going to be doing here is this is where you need to be able to sign in as a CEO. So we're going to be merging the facilities. That's why they need to be the same facility. Now, the way to do this is you sign in as a CEO and you want to send your friend an invite. Okay. Now, when you send your friend an invite, he's just sitting inside his Avenger. He's going to go ahead and hover over the invite on his phone and get ready to accept it. Okay. So, so you can see right here, this is what we're doing. I'm signing in as a CEO. I'm going to hire my friend or, you know, send him an invite to the CEO and I'm going to get ready to retire. Okay. So he's going to be hovering over the invite in his phone inside the Avenger. Okay. So this is what's going to happen. I'm hovering over retire. He's going to say three, two, one, go. I'm going to accept that alert and half a second later, he's actually going to go ahead and accept the invitation. Nothing should happen. That's a good thing. Okay. Now, he needs to walk up the Avenger up the back door and get ready to hit Exit Avenger. Now, what I'm going to do is hover over register as a CEO. All right, I'm hovering over this alert right here to register. All right, he's going to count us down again. Three, two, one, go. And he's going to go ahead and exit the Avenger. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and register as a CEO and then retire as a CEO very, very quickly. If done correctly, what should happen is your friend should actually now spawn inside of your facility. So you see right there, my friend spawned inside of my facility just like that. Now, if your friend is spawning outside of the facility, that means that you were signing in uh, too quickly. Okay, you need to sign in a little bit later, so you guys got to change up your timing. If your friend is spawning inside his own facility, that means you were too late on registering. You need to register a little bit earlier. So you guys have to find your timing with this part. But like I said, that's the hardest part of this entire glitch. That is literally the hardest thing you guys have to do. Once you get past that, it's a breeze from here. It might be a few steps, but it's a breeze from here. So any vehicle in here, doesn't matter what it is. I'm not going to lose this retro. This is just a car that, you know, I need to actually just use to turn into a dupe essentially. Okay. So here we go. This is what we're doing. We need to give him access to the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in the driver's seat and hop out. He needs to be in the passenger seat. He's going to go ahead and hop out of the passenger seat now and go into the driver's seat. So now he's actually going to have access to my vehicle. So check it out. He can actually drive vehicles, my vehicles inside my facility now. So take a look at this. 
anytime now. All right, there we go. So you see that? My friend can actually drive now. So what you want to do is hop into the car with them. Now, if you have this problem where all of a sudden you can't get in the car, it's kind of like I was going through right here, just have your friend get out real quick and get back in. And then you'll be able to actually hop into the passenger seat. It's weird, but you have to give your friend access to the car so that he can drive it around in your facility. So you see now, I can actually hop into the car. So tell your friend to drive down to the bottom of the facility, you know, where the actual elevator is. And what we're gonna be doing here is the little trick to actually spawn or teleport into the car, okay? So right now, if you park it over here by these railings, what's gonna happen is you, you both of you guys, you wanna set it up so both you guys are gonna be spawning. You wanna block off both sides of the car, okay? And you guys want to be teleporting in and out of the vehicle so once i've figured out a kind of a good position there check it out my friend will be able to teleport out of the car by hitting y or triangle and then what's going to happen is as you can see right there he teleported out i teleported out of the passenger seat and then i teleported back in into the driver's seat now i have full access you want to be able to teleport in the driver's seat now that i've done that go to your yellow circle and what you want to do is hit a and y at the same time or that'd be x and triangle on playstation okay it, that's not very difficult at all. Just press them at the exact same time. You'll be good. Your friend stays in there glitched out. So if you screw up, you can go back in there again. If done correctly, boom, check it out. I'm outside with this retro. Believe it or not, this is actually the Blazer Aqua. The game is looking at this as a Blazer Aqua because remember, that was the last vehicle I had on the map. Okay? So what you want to do now is drive this vehicle to that 10 car garage where the LG Retro Custom that you want inside your special vehicle warehouse is located. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Eclipse Tower, Penthouse One. Remember, this garage needs to be full and you need the retro in there that you wanna put in your special vehicle warehouse. Very, very important. So now I have a bunch of retros I can choose from, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just pick this last one here on the list. I'm gonna go ahead and, or you know, I wouldn't say it's replaced, it's actually transferring. So I'm gonna hit transfer and you should see that spot looking empty now. Check it out though, when I go to the blue ring, look what it says in that last spot blazer aqua so we've successfully trans well not transported we've successfully actually switched over and put the blazer aqua in the 10 car garage and the retro in the special vehicle warehouse now to get set up to actually do the duplication glitch you only had to do all that once okay now what you want to do is blow up a bunch of bikes okay you'll need the ability to sign in as a mc if you want to do this quick just blow up a bunch of bikes all right that's all you want to do nice and easy now Go ahead and go over to your special vehicle warehouse and you want your MOC to be parked pretty close by I would say. Remember you need the personal vehicle storage in the MOC. I have a Deluxo in there, it doesn't really matter what you have in there, alright? You can, It can be empty or you can have something in there, you're not going to lose it, you'll be fine. So what you want to do now is like I said, go to your special vehicle warehouse, have your MOC ready to go right by it and you want to go ahead and invite your friend to your CEO and invite your friend inside of the warehouse, okay? This is where your friend can just sit AFK, all right? This is where we're actually gonna start duping the cars. The whole facility part is just to get the car in this warehouse. That's it, you never have to do that again. Your car's in the warehouse. This is where the duplication glitch starts. So now my friend is in here in the special vehicle warehouse as my associate, he can just sit AFK. He can go ahead and rubber band his controller and just chill, whatever he wants to do. So you see, this is the retro from that 10 car garage. It is now in here with a custom plate. Very important, you need custom plates. Now go ahead and just drive this car out. So I'm gonna drive the car out. If done, you know, if you guys, if you did everything right, if your friend is in there, the car should not despawn. If your friend's not in there, the car will despawn right when you drive outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up right behind my MOC. I'm gonna open up my phone and I'm actually gonna call up Moore's Mutual, all right? So when you call Moore's Mutual, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be calling up one of those bikes that we destroyed. I believe I destroyed a bunch of Sanchez's. So check it out. Eclipse Tower, yep. A bunch of Sanchez's that I destroyed. So you're going to go ahead and make a claim for one of them. And I'm going to show you what happens when you make a claim for one. If you look down at the bottom left of the map, I'm actually going to go ahead and press pause and show you what just happened. I claimed a Sanchez. Now the Sanchez is over here on the map at Moore's Mutual. Okay, that's what you want. So go ahead now and press right D-pad to go inside of your MOC. It's going to drive in there, all right? Or you're going to drive in there, I should say. You've actually successfully created a dupe just like that. What you want to do now, though, is actually drive back outside to fully overwrite the Sanchez out there because the Sanchez is still on the map. So drive outside to completely override it. There we go. This car is actually, you know, a duplicate already. Just go ahead and drive it right back in to your MOC so that you don't have to register as an MC. If you do that, your friend's going to get kicked out and you got to register as a CEO again. You don't want to do that. So just 
drive this back in there and exit on foot, and there you go. You've saved yourself a duplicate. You have a dupe inside your MOC. Now to rinse and repeat, run back into your you know special vehicle warehouse. Your friend is still sitting in there AFK. That's all he's got to do is just chill AFK inside the warehouse. And you go ahead, run back over, and get the retro. All right? Drive the retro out, and we're going to do the glitch again to create another dupe. Okay? So as you can see right here, the majority of this glitch was just getting the retro in the warehouse. The dupe glitch itself is mad easy and simple. It's just all the setup that you got to do to be able to get it. So before you go into the MOC, remember, call up Moore's Mutual. Just make a claim for one of those bikes that you destroyed. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to make a claim for another Sanchez. That Sanchez is now on the map at Moore's Mutual. I can hit right D-pad to go inside the MOC, accept the transfer alert, and boom, we saved a duplicate. The retro that was in there just went over to the 10 car garage where the Sanchez was destroyed from, okay? Just like that, guys. All right, so you wanna make sure those Sanchez's are in a 10 car garage. Remember, when you drive the car in the first time, you wanna exit the Avenger, or the Avenger, you wanna exit the MOC and then drive the retro right back in, okay? And now you've saved a retro. And just keep doing this over and over again, guys. Rinse and repeat this. And you will just keep getting dupe after dupe after dupe super quickly. And all your friend has to do is sit AFK in the warehouse, all right? Now, it was a lot to cover, all right? I hope I covered everything, you know, thoroughly for you guys. But that's all the glitch is. It's mad easy to do. You just keep running in there, get a retro, drive it outside. Before you win the MOC, make a claim for that bike. And once you made a claim for that bike, drive in the MOC, drive back out of the MOC, and drive back in the MOC. Get out on foot, go in the warehouse, rinse and repeat. Easy as can be, guys, okay? So... My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Xbox and PS4 guys can do this. Super dope bunny glitch. Keep it going. It's been going on for a while now, but this is the only method to actually get a retro in the special vehicle warehouse anymore. Once you have it in there, you're all good. You don't need to do that facility part again. You have a retro in there. You can just do this dupe glitch whenever you want, as long as you have a friend able to sit AFK for you. All right? So make sure to slap that like button on this video and the rest of my videos. Subscribe by pressing that big red button if you're brand new and turn on post notifications for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, guys.